Have you ever wondered what happens in the city after you go to sleep? When the lights come on and you're getting ready for bed, many people are preparing to leave their homes. Some are going out for an evening of entertainment and fun. Others are going to work, going out to do the many jobs that must be done in the city at night. In the early part of the evening, the streets are crowded with traffic. Some people are going to restaurants for their dinners. Some are going to theaters to enjoy themselves. But many others, like the driver of this taxi cab, are working, helping to make living in the city better and easier for all of us. At this taxi depot, other taxi drivers are arriving to pick up their cabs. These drivers will work all night, taking people wherever they may wish to go. This is Mr. Jenkins. He puts on his uniform and checks in for his cab. The cab he will drive tonight has been serviced and is ready for him. First, he checks his radio telephone. With it, Mr. Jenkins can receive messages wherever he may be. After he's checked it, he starts out on his night's work. Let's go along with him as he looks for passengers. Mr. Jenkins is a very good driver. He has to be, since the safety of his passengers depends upon his driving ability. He drives slowly and carefully. He passes a gas station that's open all night. Attendants work here, ready to sell gasoline to anyone who may need it. As Mr. Jenkins continues to look for passengers, he passes a drugstore that is open all night. A druggist works here, selling drug supplies and a great many other things that people may need during the night. As Mr. Jenkins drives on, he sees a bus. Buses run all night. They're needed to take people who work at night to their jobs. And of course, the bus driver works at night too. Now Mr. Jenkins sees a man waiting for a cab and he stops to pick him up. This man wants to go to the railroad station so Mr. Jenkins takes him there. The railroad station is a busy place at night. People come and go all night long as trains leave the city and arrive from other cities all over the country. Inside the station, people wait in line to get information and to buy tickets for trains that are leaving. They wait for trains coming into the station, bringing friends or relatives. It takes the work of many people to run the trains and to take care of the passengers. Mr. Jenkins has another passenger. This man has just arrived on a train and he wants to go to a hotel to spend the night. A busy, helpful red cap puts his bags into the cab and Mr. Jenkins drives off to take his passenger to a hotel. The hotel is open all night. 
It has to be, since people may arrive at any time. They must be given rooms and beds so they can go to sleep. Inside the hotel, clerks are on duty all night long, renting rooms to the guests who arrive. As Mr. Jenkins drives up, the hotel doorman helps his passenger out. The doorman works all night too. Mr. Jenkins drives away to look for another passenger. He passes a building where newspapers are printed. The people who print the paper work hard all night, so there will be a newspaper for your family to read in the morning. This man is working at a machine called a linotype. He is setting the type from which the paper will be printed. The paper is printed on these huge roller presses This man works a machine that ties the printed newspapers into bundles. Other workers load the bundles into trucks, and truck drivers take them to your paper boy. As Mr. Jenkins drives on, he passes a dairy. Many people are working here bottling the milk you'll drink for breakfast in the morning. While a worker attends it, this machine washes the empty bottles. Everything in a dairy must be absolutely clean. The milk is never touched by human hands. Workers tend machines that fill the clean bottles with milk. Other machines put caps on the bottles, and other workers put the bottles into boxes, so your milkman can bring them to your home or market. Mr. Jenkins passes a bakery. A bakery is a kind of factory in which bread, cakes, cookies, and pies are made. Inside the bakery, many people work all night so that the bakery store or market where your mother shops will have fresh bread in the morning. Some bakers work at huge machines that mix the dough for the bread. Others put the dough into pans, and this baker places the pans of dough in a large oven where they will be baked. The fresh bread comes out of the oven baked to a golden brown and ready to eat. Before it is sold, however, it is sliced and wrapped. Many workers help to bake bread at night. Mr. Jenkins passes a factory where airplane parts are made. This factory is open day and night so that our country can have the airplanes it needs. Inside, there are a great many night workers, skilled workers who are needed to tend the many machines that run 24 hours a day. Mr. Jenkins sees some more people who work at night. The men in this car are policemen and they patrol the city streets in their police car, watching the houses, stores, and factories to see that everyone is safe. On this fire engine, there are more men who work at night firemen who must be ready at all times to answer calls to put out fires.
Now Mr. Jenkins receives a call from the taxi office on his radio telephone. He is given an address and told to pick up a passenger there. This passenger is a doctor. He is going to a hospital where he is needed. Mr. Jenkins must take him there as quickly and as safely as he can. Inside this lighted hospital, work goes on all night. Nurses are busy at the many jobs they must do in order to give comfort and care to the people who need their help. Now the doctor arrives at the hospital. Doctors work at any hour of the day or night they may be needed. The night is almost over. Day is beginning to break. And Mr. Jenkins is on his way back to the taxi depot. He passes a produce market where farmers arrive very early in the morning to bring fresh fruits and vegetables into the city. Grocery workers are here early too, so they can pick up the produce to sell in their stores. On his way back to the taxi depot, Mr. Jenkins sees a paper boy delivering the paper that was printed during the night. Paper boys must go to bed early so they can get up early to take care of their paper routes. Mr. Jenkins sees a milkman delivering the milk that was bottled during the night. He sees a man delivering fresh bread to a market, bread that was baked during the night. It's morning now, and it's been a busy night for many people for the gas station attendant, for the druggist in his drugstore, for the bus driver, for the newspaper worker, for the dairy worker, for the bakery worker, for the worker in the factory, and the nurse in the hospital. It's been a busy night for all the other people who work at night and now are going home. While you've been sleeping, Mr. Jenkins and all these people have been working. For them, it's time to go to bed. But for you, after your night's rest, it's time to get up begin a new day.